Shalom, everybody. How is everyone doing again today? I have another study to share with you. We're going to be in 1 Corinthians um, chapter 13, and we're going to go from 1 to 13 today. And I then I will give you some um, words that our father shared with me on understanding. Though I speak with tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I have become sounding brass or clinging tambles. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mystery and knowledge, and though I have faith so that I could remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, but have not love, it profits me nothing. Love suffers long, and love is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself. Love does, is not puffed up, does, does not behave rudely, does, does not seek its own, is not provoked and thinks no evil, does, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never fails. But when, but whether there are prophecies, they will fail. Whether there are tongues, they will cease. Whether there is knowledge, it will vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part, but when that which is perfect has come, then that which is in part will be done away. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then I shall know, just as I also am known. And now abide faith, hope, love. These three, the greatest of these, is love. Love is why God created us for his enjoyment. God took the time to explain to us what it means to believe in God. It's an action we decide in our minds to hold on to when we face affliction or adversary. Adversity. We hold on to our love for God above all and everything. That comes to us and we serve our heavenly father with the wisdom that we gain from his knowledge and his ways this can only be possible with love as without love we can do nothing for god without selfish ambition to motivate those actions but with love all things are possible for those who love God to do his will over our flesh's will. For if I give all that I have to the poor and do not love, I only give for selfish reasons that would gratify me. But when I love and give, my heart is filled with the joy and knowing that I am pleasing God. And that brings joy to God's heart. And he's well pleased with you. 
with well strived for we look forward we look forward to the day that we hear well done good and faithful servant welcome to the kingdom for you loved even those who didn't love you and you did my will over your will this is what it means to be a follower and a believer in christ we walk the walk of serving one another as he taught us so we can all be together again one day in the kingdom with god forever and ever for this is the love story of god i hope that this blessed you it blessed me so much and i love you guys all i pray that this is a blessing have a beautiful day shalom